What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 5. I am playing my game as Venice, which I've been saying in pretty much every video. And we're trying to win the signs victory. Now, something happened in the last part, in case you missed it. I was about to become the world leader. I need 31 votes to win, and I have 34 right now. And I got globalization, which is a technology that grants you extra delegates. Um, Basically, you get more delegates if you have more diplomats in your enemies or your other civilizations' capitals. So I should have gotten four extra votes that I have right now. I should have had enough to to win the game. Okay, but I got that technology on the very same turn where the World Congress convened, and because of that, I didn't win the game. So now we're gonna have to waste 18 more turns to try and get that back because I can win this thing. Oh, blah, 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 I'm sorry, dude. Oh, Antwerp, I totally care about that and stuff like that. What the hell just happened? Okay. Washington declared war on Harun al-Rashid and so did Ramses. Oh, you attacked Antwerp. Sorry, dude. It's not my fault. It's totally not my fault. It's stupid, um, stupid Grace's fault. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Totally sorry I did that. You know, it's his fault that this happened. It's not my fault at all. That's step. That's stupid. Antwerp desires the Great Firewall and also units. I am still their ally, so I, I'm pretty fine. I got some <laughs> very good relationships with all the city-states, so um, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I outgreased Greece. That feels good. Look at the hipster rider, by the way. I love that. Rems is building up for a sneak attack. We got the Great Rider, who we can use to get a buttload of culture or another great work. Uh, we don't really have any extra spots, so let's just make him... Give us a bunch of culture, which is pretty cool. Wills provided coal, provided gold. Uh, Jerusalem is looking for riches. Blah blah, bunch of stuff. Blah blah. Okay, so now we can choose another tenant. Tourism. This one would definitely help me out. Uh, party leadership. Now this one's not even that great. It's not even that great. I like the tourism one though. That could really help me win this victory. So boom, there you go. That should definitely give me a huge boost in, um, in the whole cultural victory type of thing. Only problem is that Arabia is still not order. They're still following freedom, which I don't understand why that is. Uh, but whatever. We're starting to get really influential here and there. Uh, so that's another way that we can win the game. Mostly, I'm going to try to click through this video real, uh, real quick. And try to get to that uh, World Congress, World Leader type of situation. The trade of interest. Uh, embargo Arabia, I don't give a shit. Let's do it. Defensive pact, why not? Is he still at war with Grace? I think he might be. He very well might be. Let's see, we're number one literacy. We are 11% more literate than average. Number four in soldiers, which is pretty good. We're still slightly below average. But we got a pretty good little military going on here. We have lots of boats. And um, we have very advanced military mostly. Which I feel is definitely a good thing. Peace treaty with Alexander has expired. Which means that it is completely possible for him to declare war on me now. Unless... I get a defense pack with this sucker. And also, I should get one with my boy Ramses. Oh, not research agreement. Defensive pact, son. Let's do it. Now, for some reason, whenever I get a defensive pact with Washington, it blows up in my face. So I will refrain from getting one with him. But Egypt has a giant army, and they are actually now bordering on Greece. They have a way in. They can take Damascus and start working their way into his land. And seeing as they have one of the biggest militaries, he probably doesn't want to do that. And then also... Poland is in his, uh, on his sort of, uh, west flank. So he's gonna be attacked from both sides. That's gonna be a problem for him. So let's hope that that is enough reason for him to, um, to not fight me, because I would prefer not to fight this dude, because he's a dick. And he's got way more units than I have. I can make giant death robots soon, though. Definitely feel like I should get one of those. Uh, okay, we got 15 turns left. Embargo Arabia. Most people want to embargo him. Pretty much everyone, I believe. Wait. Yeah, 30 delegates. That's four sieves. So that's, yeah, that's everybody but Arabia wants to embargo Arabia. 
In National Games, though, I will actually block that. Which I can totally do, so I will go ahead and do that. Totally is still best friends with Washington, nothing to worry about. Alexander's got some, uh, some issues with me, and Ramses is just cool. It's like, yeah, dude, yeah, it's me, Ramses, you know, we're friends and everything. Uh, so there's nothing to worry about there. Also, I have ridiculous amounts of resources because I've befriended uh, pretty much every... Oh my god, is he trying to take Baghdad now? Doesn't that seem a little overkill, though? Washington made peace with Antwerp. That's good. Uh, yeah, dude, you got it. That's a great deal for me because I get... Oh, Casimir's completed the Apollo program. Wow, dude. You are really quick, aren't you? I already completed two parts of my spaceship. Uh, but I should probably be cautious here. Diplomacy. Victory progress. Four players have completed the Apollo program. I have two, two pieces of the... Um, of the thing already. Cultural... Oh, this is actually an easier way to check the uh, the cultural shit. Uh, Washington controls two capitals, but that's not really a big deal. Time Victory is disabled, obviously. Uh, details, please. Alexander. I'm the only one that has any piece of the, um, the spaceship ready, so I didn't even know I could see that, but yeah, I'm the only one with pieces ready, which is pretty good for me. Because that means that nobody else can move up and steal my shit. Steal my victory away from me, unless they're sort of saving up their pieces of the spaceship only to attach them at the last second. Uh, which is completely possible. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Got some oil here. What is even the point of having oil here? You would. I don't think you can ever get to it, pretty much. It's like completely. Yeah, I mean, who could get to that? There's no little island nearby or anything like that. Coast. This does not look like coast to me, but uh, sure, dude. Oh, that's ocean. That's ocean right there. Okay. Whoa. Pi Ramses. It, okay. He's actually bombing Baghdad all the way from there. So it seems like Baghdad is uh, definitely going through some, um, some tough times right now. Just like they used to in real life. They probably still go through tough times. I have no clue. Because it's like the American troops leave and you never hear anything about it anymore. Like, Libya. What the hell happened there? I don't know. I mean, it just goes quiet and everybody just stops caring. So yeah, honestly, I have no clue what's happening in Baghdad right now. I have no clue. Can we just, can we just wrap this up? I'm done with my little speech about Baghdad. Thanks. Thanks, we are still doing good. We got another piece of the spaceship on the way. Uh... Victory progress. Oh, 58%. We got over 50% with everybody. Sweet. Nobody's made any pieces yet, so we are, you know, we're doing pretty good. We got the third piece just now. And we got about 13 more turns until the World Congress uh, chooses a world leader. Uh, which is obviously going to be me. You know, so that's pretty awesome. And, um, this is why I hate Venice, by the way, trying to, to win a space victory. I need to build all those spaceship parts. But I can only give orders to one city, which is Venice itself. Uh, so that's pretty much the only place where I can actually get them to make these parts. You know, I can't tell my puppets to start making them, or I would. It's because, so, you know, in that way it is completely stupid uh, or annoying to play with Venice. Megara has been captured by America. Oh, sweet. Thanks, dude. You just saved me a little bit. He's sending a buttload of his stupid missionaries. Could you maybe not make me a Christian, please? I don't really like Christianity. I prefer Shinto, which is the best religion. Uh, thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ, he got nuked! Oh, boy! Oh, man, that's not good! It looks like we got nukes. Oh, he nuked them as well, unless Egypt nuked them both, which is also possible. Oh man, I'm so happy I didn't get nuked myself, because that would really make my life a lot harder. And I mean a lot harder. Um, at that bad boy. The booster is done. The city grew, ally of Vatican City, which is pretty cool. SS booster in eight more turns. I don't think we can actually make any other part yet. Uh, but we're getting there. We, all we need is particle physics and nanotechnology, and we're gonna be done. That'll just be the end of it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool.
pretty cool. 12 more turns. Let's keep this going. Let's just... Let's keep this pace up. I think we can finish this in one video. Because usually at the end of the game, it's like, Oh, wait, I still have to wait 10 more turns to either lose or win. You know, like, either you are gonna win something big, or someone else is gonna win something big, or destroy you. I've had tons of games where I was losing in videos, too, when I just said, Oh, man, I'm just waiting, skipping the... Skipping ahead, you know, just next turning. Jeez, Baghdad is a freaking war zone. Holy shit. Okay, Arun Ar Rashid has, um... He's just, he's gone. He doesn't exist anymore, basically. Giza. What the, why did you even make it there? Like, what the fuck's the point? He just, you really just wanted to steal those little gems from freaking, um... Freaking America? Like, really? That's, that's the big idea here. No more open borders to Harun Ar Rashid. The dude is gone. I got 33 votes, which should still be enough, but I no longer have a, a diplomat with him. Defensive pact with Washington ended. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it that way because I get nothing from that. And let's see, got Thebes, Athens, Warsaw. We have okay. So let's see if we can move you to Greece, Athens. Where is it? How does he have this many cities? It is getting out of hand. Okay, move back to Athens as a diplomat, and that's gonna get me my stupid thing anyway. It's gonna get me my stupid thing. Uh, Cesar... Just go to, um... I don't actually care anymore, I mean... Victory progress, we need... let's see... Well, those are go they're gone. 51. Let's send them to Egypt as an extra diplomat to spread some extra... Shit, if that works. Go, just go to, um, to Memphis. Oh, really? I have to make him a spy? Only one? Okay. Never mind, then. Let's send him over to... I don't, I don't have any place to send him. I mean, we're pretty much, we're done. Just send him to Yerevan, I guess. Just keep him close. Whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We got 11 turns to go. Nuclear fusion is super close. Yep, let's keep those borders open, sucker. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Is the Defense following pack. I'm gonna have to say no to that one. Because whenever oh. I do it, it bites me in the ass. And then also, you just got nuked, dude. You got nuked big time. Uh, your delegation played a part in the failure of our proposal for the World Congress. I don't like this. <laughs> Look at my horse. Okay, dude. Whatever, call the cops, I don't give a shit, you know, get the hell out of here. Oh shit, he's got a settler and he's got a general. He just took Atlanta. He just took Atlanta like it was nothing. Philadelphia is up in ashes. There goes the gang. They just got thunder gunned. They're just, they're gone. Discovered nuclear fusion. Give me that shit. International games. Oh, gee, let me consider this for a second. Oh, wait, I don't even have to consider it because I could just do this. You, you bitch. 33 votes. Not a big deal at all. Next research. We are going to need uh, nanotechnology, actually provides me with a bigger benefit. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that one uh, because it not only gives it, does it give me this, the stasis chamber, but also the. Um, the XCOM squad, which is pretty awesome. So nanotechnology it is. Let's keep this bad boy going. Uh, nothing for me to do. We got 10 more turns to go before we can end the game. Unless... Is the following trade of interest to you? Okay, throw in a little piece of uranium and we'll talk. Sweet, dude. Thanks. I got four uranium. Now I can make me some nukes. Alexander's a bitch, blah, blah. Nope. I'm gonna have to say no to that one. Oh boy, the Sydney Opera House, yeah, good for you. Let me know how that works out for you. So you need 400, 200. We, I think we're starting to actually reach a limit here. Where everybody's got so many great works and so much culture that we just can't do this anymore. International games fail because of myself and America. Ramses is plotting against Alexander. Casimir is constructing a great firewall. Uh, Warsaw covered the Casimir is plotting against Alexander. Ramses is plotting against Alexander. 
Polish army is marching the Greek city of Athens. That should be pretty good. I will not interfere in this uh, whatsoever. Because I just want to be world leader. You know, at the end of the day, that's the only thing I actually give a shit about. So let's get that going. Um, but maybe... No, I got defensive pacts with a lot of people. Listen, dude, how about you declare war on Alexander? Move, Dale. You do it. He would do it for a pretty low price, too. Uh, how about you vote for me? How about yeah. you vote for Egypt? Oh, so you're willing to vote for yeah. shitty Egypt, but not for me. Okay, let's ask him the real question here. Great. He's willing to vote for Greece, but not me? You whore. I trust you are a friend to Just vote for me, I'll take care of you. You son of a bitch. Nobody even wants to consider voting for me. I mean, I can win it anyway, but it's still slightly upsetting to see that the other civs don't like me. So this is what it's like to be bullied. America definitely lost this one. I mean, that's for sure. They have another settler on the way. They're probably going to settle here, which is one of the only free spots left. Jesus Christ. They recovered from being nuked real quick. Atlanta is still in ashes. Philadelphia is mostly gone. Oh, man. This is definitely messy. They got Mecca, but they might lose that soon. And then they will have just three cities left, because they also lost Chicago up north. But hey, at least they're not going after me, which is pretty sweet. You know, just go after America, that's fine. I don't give a shit about America anyway. Nine more turns, come on. Alexander, I'm gonna have to say no. It looks like this is all reaching sort of a climax, where everybody's like, clashing... ...up against each other. Mostly Alexander and other people, though. But Egypt, America, and Alexander, and probably Poland are going to get mixed in in this. And I will keep my distance. I will keep saying, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, sir, if I do something wrong. And hopefully, I can just slip through the, the, slip through the net under the radar. Everybody's slightly friendly with me. And they have no... They have no way to see what is coming. The enemies would spot near Zerg. Are you fucking kidding me? I will wipe that bitch out. I think I actually got rid of all of my workers, which is, um... Unfortunate, you know, for sure. It's unfortunate, but that's just what happens. Venice. I believe it is time. Release the death robot. I don't believe I've ever made one of these dudes before, so, um... I figured I'd make one for once. Uh, yeah, I don't really need that anymore, dude. So, go suck a boner. Get out of here. Also, I believe our research agreement Is with no trick. get the shit out of here. Our research agreement with Poland, I believe, is about to come to an end, which should give me. Oh, you're denouncing me. Okay, man. I don't know what I ever did wrong to you. So he started. He actually went from friendly to denouncing in one turn, which just shows you that Greece, the AI, is a little bitch. You know, if you play as Greece in a certain multiplayer game, that's fine. But the AI of uh, Greece? Little bitches. All of the AIs are assholes. Atlanta. Philadelphia. It looks like he's leaving Philadelphia alone. Hey, uh, yeah, research agreement. Right time. Right time for sure. Death robot. Let's march. Oh, damn. Look at that thing. Jesus. That is so cool. Okay. Denounced me. We got nanotechnology. Particle physics. Which means that in about seven turns, we can, uh, t uh, th in theory, we should be able to actually make all the spaceship parts. You know, our people know how to make all of them. What the hell are you doing, America? What the shit is this? We cannot fall, t fall apart right now. He's hostile now. He's openly hostile against me. I believe you've given me no choice, friend. Or should I say, not so, friend. Yerevan is under attack from barbarians. Antwerp is, uh, wants gold, basically. That's what they're saying. Just, like, blah, blah, give me money. Sh I guess I could give you money if that's what you want, but it doesn't really feel like you deserve it. What the shit is this? Take that worker. Return it to America. You got it, son. I'm super, uh, super, um, considerate and everything. And it looks like he's about to take another worker, so we're going to return that one as well. Although, it might have been worth it to actually keep this one to repair some of my shit, but I don't really care. 
Oh, look at that. The game is... Stupid helicopter gunship. Every time I use that thing, it just... It breaks the game, is what it does. Just get me the, the last booster, please. Yep, you got it. Let's let's make it happen. Look, I'm just trying to get through the end of the game. Um, 50 gold? I don't care enough. You don't even have 50 gold, you son of a bitch. That is not worth it to you. Just invest it in something good. Maybe get a horse or something. Save yourself. Ooh. We are one turn away from another tenant. Or policy. Is there anything that will increase my production? I don't believe there is, really. Movement for naval units. That one might be pretty good. Oh, we can actually... Oh, we can get a third tenant now. Level three. Alexander is constructing a great firewall. An upcoming session in five turns where I will finally take my rightful spot as the world leader. Who will just... Sort by gold, please. I just need to know who is worth it. Athens. He can reach Athens from here? Damn, that's that's a lot of reach. But we need to give production to Venice some more. Uh, tenant. Tourism to civilizations that have less happiness. Finish spaceship parts with great engineers. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I'm going to go ahead and say yes to this one. Engineer, I just got you, but please get me my spaceship part. Uh, we got Enrico Fermi. Sure, dude, get me my next technology. Every oh, man, everything is, everything is just coming together right now. My life is brilliant. It's beautiful. It's really good. So I can be world leader in five turns, or I can finish the uh, spaceship in probably... Does that seem reasonable to you, you son of a bitch? Get the hell out of here. Get off my lawn. You don't belong here. This is the lawn of champions. This is where the real champions live. Let's get me the stasis chamber, please. So I can start work on the final part. And launch my ass into space. Come on. You know you want to help me out here. Where are you? You son of a... Come on. Approval. So, look at that. We're actually pretty bad ranked in, like, everything. And uranium from Washington, a bunch of shit from Washington, blah 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 blah. Okay, that looks really cool. Looks like a like a shuriken type of thing, or snowflake if you're a loser. But yeah, shuriken for sure. Attach it, please. Caravan, send straight with with them, I guess. How many more turns? We got nine more turns, and we can win a space uh, victory or four more, and we win a diplomatic victory, which is kind of the unexpected victory. That came from is nowhere. The following trade of interest to you. you got it. I got four more turns. There's no way I'm going to be destroyed in four turns unless he nukes my shit. Which is very possible. What the hell are you doing here? What is he doing? Has he suddenly decided to like, oh, I guess I'll just go for the underdog. Or, you know, something that looks like an underdog. He's sending two more settlers. I don't know what his idea is here, but he is a weirdo. Made Swipenids and Radom. Radom. I don't know why though. Like, what the hell's the point of that, you sucker? Adopted a religion. Let's kill this bitch, please, before he kills the Egyptian settler. So this is what happens when people start panicking. They're all like, oh my god, let's just scramble. Let's get let's get settlers and find any spot we can settle. It took Philadelphia. Philadelphia has been reduced to nothing. And from the looks of it, it got nuked again. America definitely got their shit handed to them. Our wards are back with nuclear weapons. Uh, okay. Uh, that's good for you, dude. Oh, shit. He has got a lot of units that suddenly moved up. Very shady shit. I think I should buy myself a bit of time here. And I know just the way to do it. Just the, okay, here we go. Uh, cargo ship. Just get me some cash. Excuse me, Poland. Would you like to earn some coins? You, you pleb. Here you go, I have 8 gold per turn. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Sure, look, I'll give you 16 gold per turn. Just get it done. Just destroy Greece, please. 
Thank you very much. Distract him for a little bit. Buy me some time. Thank you. That'll be it. Have fun with your coinies. Yes, buddies with Poland, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, that should distract him. He's still war with America. He's still fighting Poland. And there's no way he has time for a third war in there. And if he does declare war on me, then he's going to be at war with Egypt as well. So he can go ahead and nuke me if he thinks it will help him, but it will not. Because in exactly one more turn, the victory will be deep inside of my hands. And it's going to be sweet. Just get... Can we just... Guys, can we just... Can we just... Victory circle people? Can we just, um... Skip it? Stupid cargo ships. They take up a lot of time. Venice, finish my spaceship, please. Still six turns. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's do this. Look at that. They made Torun, and they still have two settlers left. They're just gonna settle everywhere they can for whatever reason. They're just scrambling for the last scraps of land. You know, they could have gone north. They could have even gotten a little bit of uh, marble there. Well, they caught a gun right over there, get some dye, get some oil. But no, he decides to settle right next to me. You know, that son of a gun. I don't know how he, why he does it. I just, I don't. Luckily for me, I still have 34 votes. Yerevan election rigged. That's my work. I did that. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. Yeah, it was me. Yeah. Okay, uranium from Casimir has ended. I honestly do not give a shit. Trade with Raw Claw. Get this out of my face. Oh, what's up, dudes? What's that? You're all fighting each other with nukes? Yeah, well, I'm not a loser. I don't fight with nukes. I fight with money. That'll be it. <clears throat> see you later. Uh, let's see. Gdynia? Sure, let's just do it. <clears throat> just get me my cash. Get me my victory. Here we go. This is it. This is it. it is the following trade of interest Yeah, no. Nah, you're, you're not really worth anything anymore. Because you got destroyed. Boston got nuked as well. Mecca probably got nuked, or it's being destroyed. Whichever. But it looks like Greece just has, has so many nukes that they don't even know what to do with it. They're just throwing them around like they're pieces of candy that they're just throwing. Or like dollar bills in strip clubs where people just like throw them and make it rain. But he's doing it with nukes instead of dollar bills. Yeah, he's got Mecca now. Nice try, America, but you got devastated. You did nothing. Magar is probably going to be taken. So yeah, America... Not as cool as you thought you were. Can I just get my victory, please? Just been waiting for that for a little bit. Thank you. You've tried Thank you. your foes through the art of diplomacy. Your cunning and wisdom have earned you great friends, and divided and sown confusion among your enemies. Forever will you be remembered as the leader who brought peace to a weary world. Yeah, we won the game. We did it. Year two thousand and two. Let's take a look at the demographics. Look at all this. Look at all this. People were telling me, oh, Linus, what's your number five, number four, and all this shit. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I still won. I was super close to space victory as well, so. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I was going to say good and cool, but it came out different. Uh, pretty good. Definitely. Replay. Can we just, can we just take a look at that graph? Uh, Venice, I am, I'm this one. You see that? A score. I don't have the highest score. Building maintenance? I have very low building maintenance. Uh, culture per turn? That's me. That's Egypt. Uh, excess happiness? Not even that high. I'm just like a pretty normal level. Food per turn? Not really that high. Nothing is really as high as my number of cities. That was, I was just stuck on uh, four. Pretty late into the game I got four, but I was three for like the longest time. And then uh, this probably grazed out like 20 of them. It's getting a little out of hand. Number of policies, pretty good. Number of workers. This is the part where I start, like, deleting my workers every now and then. And then Greece is, like, 16 of them. Population? That's not bad, honestly. I think it's pretty good for only three cities. Signs per turn. Even in terms of signs per turn... Wait, how is that even possible? So Greece had more signs per turn than I did in the end. That's impressive. But after all, I'm still the winner, so suck it, bitch. Now, before I go, I still want to look at the map. 
So this is where we started out. This was Poland, Greece, Arabia, America, Egypt, and myself. This was Belgrade, this was Zurich. It actually took me a while to, f to f actually find Zurich. And I'm still baffled by the lack of city-states in this area here. Uh, that's a little weird. And here you see everybody just sort of getting cities. In turn... Let's see, mostly around turn... Like, after turn 30, a couple of cities started popping up. And then by turn 50, Greece already had four cities. I still had the one. 77. Poland already has five of them. And here Greece really starts expanding, and I, all, all I have is these shitty cities. Pretty late into the game, too. It wasn't after, like, turn 100 that I finally got him. And that's how it ended up. See, if you were to look at this map, you would probably guess that this was the winner, Greece. But no, it was me. It was this little purple blob. So, uh, suck it. So, um, yeah, that's the end of the game. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. Um, towards the end, at least. I mean, I don't really like... Venice, but it's really challenging to play as them for sure. Uh, so it was fun for once. And then, um, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys that left tips. Uh, there were a lot of useful tips and hints and shit like that. There were a lot of people saying do this, and then other people saying do that, where it was like different things. So I wasn't really sure what to do. Uh, and then towards the end, I decided to just start recording in advance and make sure that I actually win the game, or at least the last part, the last stretch. Uh, by myself. I didn't want to just win by following tips because that sounded a little boring. Um, so I played a large part just by what I figured might be might be working, but I don't think I would have won if I hadn't gotten all these great tips. So I want to thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Please consider leaving a like for this series because I really enjoyed doing it. And uh, yeah, we'll be back soon with some more Civ. Um, I'm probably taking a short little break, and when I say short little break, I, I mean like a week maybe or a week or two. Uh, from Civilization, but then it's going to be back with a full new game. Um, and you'll just have to wait and see to see what Civilization we're playing as. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for all the support and the tips and everything. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching.